Hi everybody, it's Roy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project standing here in a tiny house on wheels and you may notice there's something special sitting here in front of me a uh, friend from YouTube sent me this I did not see this coming and uh, I was quite surprised and pleased I must say to find out that I have a meter for my second TriStar charge controller which I'm going to promptly go and install right now. And then I'll have a good overview on what we've got coming into the tiny house on wheels for power. By the way, these desiccant packs, just as a side note, these little silicon, silica desiccant packs can be heated in the oven, um, if you're careful about the plastic part, and dried out at a low temperature and reused. So uh, I keep these for putting into um, food uh, survival food buckets and bins. Just a little side note there. But here is the the meter for my new solar charge controller. So I'm going to go and immediately put that on there and uh, I'll be able to see what's going on from now on. So I want to thank you very much for sending this over and it's definitely going to improve things here at the off-grid homestead. Well, here we are over at the uh, charge controller. Now I've got 47 watts coming into the MPPT solar charge controller. Uh, it's 3.7 amps. The battery is at 73 degrees which is quite surprising considering it's been uh, in the 90s by day but uh, 69 by night so I'm very surprised but it is down by the ground and covered and tarped and protected from the sun. 73 is a good temperature. Um, battery right now is 12.7 volts, by the way. So I'll remove the faceplate from the uh, new charge controller. This is the PWM solar charge controller from TriStar. Feels weird not having any wires on that. That's just a faceplate. And then if we, we've got the connecting wire that goes in here. So this goes right here, and that's very simple. And then I've got the new digital meter for my, I'm so excited, thank you again, I'm really excited about this, digital meter for my new charge controller. And this goes, there's two, um, there's two things here, there's one says TriStar and one says meter. You want to hook it to the TriStar, I guess you can branch out, I have no idea what really that does. But this is going to the TriStar, the charge controller. So that'll go on there. And as soon as I do, the display is going to come on. I hope. Ah, searching it says. And it says searching. No. I've got to figure, get that wire hidden down inside. And not in the way of the reset button in there, because that is necessary in the future. Now, I've noticed with this one the screws give me a little trouble lining up on the faceplate on this. I don't know why. Okay, we have, uh, already have, it's showing 34 watts at 12.8 volts, 12.7 volts. So I've got 42 watts coming in over here, 34 watts coming in over here. Uh, finally, I can tell what I got coming in. I do have an alarm, but that is because I realized this is a PWM controller, so the over voltage is coming from the solar panels. So I'm going to be putting 100 watt, uh, I'm saying 12 volt solar panels on this instead of the 24 volt panels. So I'm going to be switching things over outdoors as well here in the future because I am getting an over voltage warning with the higher voltage solar panels. The charge controller is taking it and it is functioning but it does have an over voltage alarm. I uh, wasn't thinking about that when I bought this and that is something you guys can learn from from my error if my miscalculation. A, uh, most of your solar panels, your uh, larger solar panels are 24 volts but most of your charge controllers are 12 volt. Yeah, this is awkward lining these screws up with this meter. It's very awkward. I don't know why 
the screws don't line up on the meter properly. I'm going to have to work with that. But yeah, it's an issue. Um, the TriStar seems to be bulletproof though, and it can handle quite a bit of abuse. I know because my, my good old MPPT solar charge controller has taken multiple lightning strikes through the years and is working well. So I know that it, uh, it can take a beating. But I will be switching this one over to all 12 volt only solar panels. So eventually when I sell the motor home I'm going to bring over the Harbor Freight solar panels to the tiny house on wheels and run them into the PWM solar charge controller because they are rated at 12 volts. And then I've got the other um, the uh, 45 watt solar panel that I bought in Michigan at times second hand. I'll be bringing that over to this charge controller. This last screw is giving me some trouble. I don't want to strip it. I'm using a jeweler's screwdriver. It's going. The, uh, the faceplate doesn't line up very well on this. I'm going to get a different screwdriver for that. But there you have it. I do now have my gauges on both of my charge controllers. <laughs> this is a beautiful sight in the tiny house on wheels. Oh, now, now I'm going to know what's going on from now on. Of course, it's, it's going to rain today, it looks like. Overcast, so there's no, <laughs> no power. So it's going to be very exciting to see a sunny day and see what's coming in here. And uh, I want to thank you again very much. This is really an amazing and exciting moment for the uh, tiny house on wheels. The off-grid tiny house on wheels. This is a huge, huge moment. So if the sun comes out, I'll come back. If not, then uh, this will be it for this video. But there you have it. It's that easy to install the TriStar digital meter. And this will give me now... What's really nice about this is now this will give me this gives me volts and watts and amps. It gives me a cumulative amount of of watt hours, amps, amp hours, and volts throughout a, a period of time. So uh, it has its own storage in there. So it's really a good thing to have. Really, really a good thing to have the displays on these solar charge controllers. So there you have it, everybody. A new meter on my charge controller in the tiny house and wheels. Well, we got some sun really quickly. Uh, we've got 158 watts coming in on the PWM charge controller, and we've got 78 watts coming in on the MPPT charge controller. So we've got a um, little bit of power coming in, not a lot, just over 200, 250 watts, I guess. 230 to 40 watts something like that but anyway um, the Sun is not yet on these solar panels here the Sun is on these solar panels and again they're only going to bring in half of what the um, panels are rated for so that's about it for that until I hook up the third and fourth solar panel after I get larger th and thicker wires this one here is working fine but the Sun is not yet on those solar panels and I need to get some more wire and run some more solar panels around the property for this one to be uh, working at its maximum output at any time of the day. So we're getting there, improving the power in the tiny house on wheels, and now I can see what I'm looking at. This is nice. Now I can actually see what's going on in here with the power. Now we just hit 80 watts over here. Sun is coming over to these panels and slowly increasing the power output but it's good charging things up in a tiny house on wheels